Hi guys, welcome to Top Tips Tuesday. We're going to talk about saddle fitting today. It seems to be something that everybody has a bit of trouble with from time to time. I have two trees here. Um, this one's made by Mero Parsonson, uh, who works with Warren Wright. It's a New Zealand tree. This tree here is an American tree. Um, so they're basically the same type of saddle. They're a, um, a, a um, I know the term I want to use, we call them a half breed, but I think these days you have to call them something else. Um, so it's half um, Australian stock saddle and half Western saddle, so I guess that's all right. So first of all, we place this saddle um, tree on the horse. We have a, a, a quick look at it. There's th only three things that, are, that I consider the most important, okay? So the first thing is, is how much rock does the horse have? okay in the in the tree so see here when i rock the tree it's got rock in it so that helps to stop it digging in up here and digging in back here so this tree does have rock in it but if we have a look it's digging in just here so when we slide the saddle down we just try and find a place there where it sort of sits you know just just as far behind the shoulder as possible but if you actually have a look at this tree here um, right at the top here it's it's actually digging in right here it doesn't take much with this saddle even if pushing it in the middle it digs into the shoulder so straight away I'm going ha ha that's not going to fit this horse all right the other thing is, is we need clearance here which it has got an angle of the bars which actually looks pretty pretty good um, unfortunately it digs in here so that tree is not going to work on that horse um, so I'm going to try this one now you can buy all sorts of different trees these days and you know have different saddles made up but the basic three same things whether it be your um, half breed saddle your western saddle or your English saddle the basic concept is still the same so I've put this tree on this horse here as well this tree um, really doesn't work at all um, there's so much clearance under here see at the back here so ideally that that bar should be sitting about like that um, and then it's right off the other side so so just there that's not working and it obviously digs in right here and there's no clearance whatsoever just there so this this tree here is a really really bad fit for this horse although um, I have sat it on some horses and it fits really really good Okay, so there's one last thing that I need to mention, and that is about where the rigging sits on your saddle. So it's not necessarily how well the tree fits your horse, but if the rigging's put in the wrong place when your saddle is built, then the, tree, the saddle's not gonna fit even if you did have a real good um, tree fit. So where the rigging sits, so you wanna sort of have a look at where your horse's girth is, and then run, run a straight line up to where your where your saddle actually sits nicest on the horse so see with the saddle that doesn't fit it wouldn't matter where i put this rigging which um, that's why i don't like um, center fire rigging on saddles because that's that's where the saddle would ideally want to sit so we've got to slide it to to a place where the saddle fits best which is on this saddle about there but it still doesn't fit because of the digging in of the bars so it's really important that you get your rigging in the right place um, some saddles have adjustable rigging which is a really really good idea but the rigging is a very very important part of, of your saddle fit.